Hello, Auto Gyro here. I'd like to preface this edition by saying that one of the things I've loved most about Deep Rock Galactic has been the high skill ceiling. Like Team Fortress 2, Terraria, and Hollow Knight, the more you learn, the better you can be at the game. It's not just aim or reflexes, it's about playing smart and loving the game enough to understand what you can really do. I still remember watching Hollow Knight speedrunners like Fireborn to figure out what I could do with the knight, and being delighted by seeing shortcuts I would never have known otherwise, and then seeing an all glitches speedrun and realizing there was so much more I didn't know that was nearly incomprehensible. It's why I really love that there is drop pod clipping. It's not always a huge gain of time compared to just entering when Molly does, especially the side entrance clip, but it's skill based. And having the knowledge that is even possible is just so satisfying. And I'd like to thank the devs for understanding why it's such a vital piece of this game. So, a few corrections and additions to my first tutorial about practicing clipping into the drop pod. One important thing is that when you get out of sandbox mode, just go into your modding menu, unclick the sandbox utilities mod, and hit apply. Say yes to applying those changes, and then hit load on your usual player save. That will put you back to where you were with your regular game. Ryer gave me a wonderful comment on the first video, correcting a misconception that I had. It turns out I was wrong. It's actually easier to do the Mali door clip at more than 60 FPS. He also had some great suggestions about what else you can do in the sandbox. For those of you who don't know, you can see your FPS in any game through utilities in Steam. Go to the in-game settings for Steam. Go to the third section and turn on the in-game FPS counter. I prefer for DRG to put it up in the high left-hand corner, but for TF2, I like it in the bottom right. I also like to see it in a high contrast color, so I turn that on as well. I don't have it on constantly, as it's just another snag for my attention, but in this case, it shows that my FPS is pretty steady around 120 frames per second which might explain why I don't have that much trouble getting in the Molly entrance when I can get there in time. I often find that if I'm there after Molly's already gotten in, I can get into the upper area, but it doesn't count as being in the pod, and I just drop out over the lights and go into the regular entrance, since it's kind of moot to clip in when the front door is open. So, for folks who can consistently play at high frame rates, you can still clip in, even if you're host for the game. Another thing is that when you spawn into the space rig, you can click Tab, select your mission, hit H, go to the sandbox utilities, and press the Start Selected Mission button to just go right in without all the drop pod countdown and animations from the space rig. It's a real time saver when you're trying to get in a lot of reps. Axis Kronos told me that as engineer, you can put a platform about midway up the indentation the drop pod makes when it comes down. Get on your platform, face towards the center, and as the drill comes down on you, jump up and into the pod. Extra platforms can help your teammates as well. And in the first video, we saw Milligan putting his zip line at that identical spot. Benny Copter was kind enough to give me a lot of clarification for what he does, including this lovely screenshot that actually corresponds well with what both Axis and Milligan were doing. He doesn't move when the drop pod is coming down, unless if he's late. He looks for the lights, grapples to the opposite corner, and then holds the grapple against the wall until the drop pod lands. Then he lets go and jumps up towards the middle of the drop pod. So yeah, a few more possibilities for doing this more consistently. They really helped me when I was trying to get footage to explain what to do. And finally, on the topic of getting the drop pod to drop where and when you'd like it to, there's been new tech found that was posted on Reddit. I've included a link to that post in the details of this video, and it turns out that it used to happen a long time ago, it was patched out, but has reappeared recently. Lots of folks have been testing it lately, and I'm really intrigued. I mean, I love the tech for the lore involved, it's directly from a voice line for Smart Stout, and as I said in the beginning, I love it when a game encourages us to play smart. Auto Gyro. The beer is working! Listen, I know how to precisely make the drop pod land at our exact position every time we call for it. This is gonna make our lives so much easier! 